Hey everybody, how you doing? It's uh, Uncle Bruce here. We're back for the final hour of trading today. Let's see how the markets are going to treat us here. I think we have an update underway here. Uh, update Monday, down day yesterday, update today. Um, we've got a 212 point gain on the Dow and that is holding towards the high of the day. We have a 33 point gain on uh, S&P. We have a 103 point gain on NASDAQ. So all three markets are higher. Oil is up uh, 220 a barrel at 72.66. Uh, that is the dealio. Uh, happy about that. Uh, a couple of our stocks are doing okay today. Um, we have SoFi up 79 cents here. 15.29 now. The high of the day was uh, 15.42, about 13 cents away. 22 million traded on SoFi today. Uh, Mitsu. Um, an analyst at Mitsu Securities gave the stock a buy rating, covering it with a $28 price target. So that's uh, sounding pretty good. The market liked the tone of that right off the bat. In the first hour of the day, we went from uh, uh, from about 1484 right up into the 15, 20, 30 range, and we've been holding ever since. Right now, 1528 up 78 cents, 22 plus million shares traded. Very good volume on the day. Our GameStop shares have had a good day. They've had a slow, steady rise all day long with a couple of glitches, but straight up, uh, up 388, like nothing crazy, but from 193 on the opening to now 203.12. We got a $10 move and, and it's uh, positive here. We started on the down dip, turned it around. We've been going up ever since. 1.7 million volume, nothing to get excited about, but that's telling me, and hopefully it'll fill it, you'll fill it in too. You'll figure it out. 1.7 million, it can go up. Uh, it, it does not require tens of millions of shares to move this market. It is so widely held now. Uh, GameStop shares are probably held by um, upwards of a million investors, I would guess. There's a lot of investors that have this stock around the world. And um, it doesn't take a lot to move the market anymore. We don't seem to get these uh, uh, short attacks anymore. We don't see these $15 sudden drops out of nowhere. They seem to have dissipated for now. Um, the buying and selling now seems to be rather orderly, and the shares uh, holding their own. Matterport, it's up 68 cents right now at 1914 a share. Um, high today, 1944, so we're about 30 cents off the high of the day. The low was 1833. That was the opening. It was down at 1833. Uh, that was 80 cents ago, and uh, here we are at 1913 at the moment. Uh, up 68, 69 cents a share on 3.1 million shares traded. So Matterport is inching towards 20 bucks, um, just relentlessly improving. Just It's just great. 23andMe, um, tough to figure this one out. We're down 14 cents at the moment on the day. Low of 808, we're at 812. Volume at 485,000. No news. Uh, they are uh, the latest. The last I saw was that they're going to present at some kind of a Wells Fargo healthcare conference, and um, this was announced, uh, I guess, last week, and uh, that was done on the 10th of September. So, yeah, that's five days ago. Uh, we've had nothing, uh, nothing uh, come out of there that I'm aware of since. Very quiet, and um, hoping to hear some news from these guys sooner rather than later. Smart rent uh, up 45 cents at 1320. This is the high of the day territory here. 152,000, virtually no volume, really quiet. But it is at its high of the day with an hour to go in the day. Uh, 1320 a share. The opening was the low, 1270. And uh, it's 50 cents higher and it's up 45 on the day. Thank you. Keep it going. Uh, Spire Global, the, uh, the, uh, satellite operator uh they're having a good day we're up 30 cents at 948 steady day all day 950 to 55 uh range right now 948 uh, ballpark up 30 high today 959 low 922 56 000 volume they announced yesterday that they were picking uh, taking over exact a company called exact earth a a, a company listed uh, in canada uh, I think it's a $160 million or $200 million deal, something like that. And uh, today the effect is positive. Yesterday the effect was negative on the stock. Today it's positive because now as time goes by, um, long-term investors realize, hey, uh, both companies will become one. They'll become part of Spire. Now we have two forms of uh, two different management groups growing the public company 
from their both from both of their areas. This is good stuff. I love it. I'm happy about that. ATIP down seven cents at 364. Uh, we're not uh, doing anything exciting here. Um, 361 was a low of the day, and that was just a few moments ago. We're trading 539,000 shares, waiting to hear from the company about new management. Uh, that search is on. I hope they're just about done that. Sextera, it has come back. It is now up 20 cents. It started neg negative. <coughs> it was down to <coughs> excuse me 878 this morning. Now 914. Uh, high of the day 919. Uh, so we're just in this range here. 241,000 shares traded, and uh, the uh, the uh, computer uh, server farm operator is up ahead, 20 cents a share, and uh, you know looking looking better. Um, curious to hear uh, what kind of deals will come out of this company. I I suspect Sextera will be a um, like like Spire Global. They will be a buyer of smaller companies, whether they're public or private. And they will just acquire more and more assets inside their public corporation. So that's where I'm expecting the growth to come from. AMC um, down only 50 cents now. We were negative, I think, three and a half bucks today or something like that. It wasn't, it wasn't good this morning. Uh, 46.80 right now is the last trade. The low of the day, 43.77. We were three bucks worse off this morning. Um, 69 and a half million traded uh now at 46.82 the high today 47.74 about two hours ago it kind of got it got positive it actually went positive on the day by a bit uh couldn't hold it and now uh, we're down 48 not like a bloodbath like yesterday yesterday was more than 10 percent see how it hangs out today um robin hood up a dollar 13 back to 41.18 a share they got under 40 bucks a share of uh, um Vanic Vectors, the of the SMH, the uh, the uh, computer chip uh, ETF, has gone positive here, but it's only up a dime at uh, two seventy four. Uh, Home Depot also has gone positive after a negative start today, negative yesterday, up thirty two cents at the moment. IBM holding a gain all day. Uh, we've been pretty well positive all day long here. We're up one twenty three on IBM at one thirty seven forty five waiting for news of their split details about the split we want to know details haven't got them yet dow jones doing well up 220 points uh, at the moment holding its gain uh microsoft doing really well up 478 at 304.57 the company announced uh, officially that they are going to use 60 billion dollars to buy back a bunch of their stock and they're going to raise their quarterly dividend by 11 percent and that's having a positive effect on the trades today apple has gone positive it was negative to start the morning um most of the morning and and until about noon hour it is now up 46 cents to 148.58 the bloodletting might be over there the low of the day for apple was 146.37 146 146.37 it's 148.59 that's a $2 plus climb from the low of the day. So there were opportunities this morning to grab some cheaper calls on Apple. That might be gone. Tesla now up 927. They were negative in the in the early going. Uh, Bed Bath & Beyond started negative but has been uh, positive uh, for the for about one hour of trading. Still up 13 cents. BlackBerry unchanged right now, not going anywhere. Royal Caribbean up 76 cents. They were negative this morning, broke even about two hours ago. Now just putting on a bit of a gain at 83.18. Put contracts are the way to go there because I expect that stock to drop. Uh, Goldman, uh, Goldman Sachs was lower this morning right off the hop here. I ran around 10.30 or so. The shares hit the low of 3.96. Uh, they announced a merger today. They are, they're buying a company called, uh, I think it's called Greenfield. And um, what is it? Green Green Sky. Sorry. They're buying a company, a fintech company called Green Sky. $2.2 million, a billion dollar buy. It's a buy now, pay later fintech company. $2.2 billion acquisition. It's not very large when, when it's compared to the size of Goldman. But it is significant to see a $135 billion company like Goldman acquiring a $2.2 billion buy now pay later company that's fintech specialty specialty company very interesting move there the stock as low as 396.21 now 401.95 uh, so 
almost a $5 gain intraday on Goldman after the announcement of the acquisition. So interesting move there. Uh, again, this stock is trading right now at 7.3 times earnings. That's all. 7.3 PE multiple on Goldman. There is no downside here. There is nothing but upside, I believe, on this stock. 700 is my call sometime next year. Amazon up 30 bucks a share. Facebook down 223. Google up $42 today at 2910 bucks. Target up $1.97. JP Morgan up a buck. Costco up $2. Walmart up a nickel. Uh, Cisco Systems down 12 cents. Had a gain here. Uh, looked like there was a, a, a weird little real shot here. It took off from uh, something like uh, 58.30 and in 10 minutes it went to 59.30 and now it's 57.75. So really weird. Had a, had a little flip and a flip and a down. Now we're down on the day. Weird uh, day today on uh, on Cisco. I don't know what to make of it, uh, but that is the... Um, that's what's happening here. Uh, what else is going on? NVIDIA up 58 cents. Disney at 184, up a dollar 79. Not a lot to speak of and going on there. American Airlines up nine cents to 19.30 a share. DraftKings at 60 bucks a share, and um, Intel at 55. Micron at 73. Um, not a lot happening over there. And uh, back to our back to our main stocks here. The ones we follow the closest. Rocket Lab down 24, trying to bring bring it back. It's trying to come back to break even. Hasn't had a chance. Hasn't done it all day. Rocket Lab started uh, uh, just a couple of pennies higher and went immediately down to 14.62. It's now 15.53. It's almost a dollar better off. Still down a quarter on the day. And and this is kind of the best level since the opening. We've we've uh, seen this stock battle all the way back all day long here uh, to take out all the losses. And now within 24 cents of breaking even on 3 million shares today on the Rocket Lab stock. SoFi now 15.37 up 87 cents, uh, 5 cents away from the high of the day on 22.4 million volume today. Very good volume. The stock is getting press because of the uh, initiation of coverage by Mitsu. All right, GameStop holding a $4 gain. Matterport up $0.68 cents to $19.14. Uh, Matterport wants to go to $20. Now it just needs to take SoFi and Rocket Lab with it, and we will be happy campers here. Uh, that would be a much better look. Smart Rent looks like the high of the day right now, $13.33. Uh, that is the high of the day, up $0.58 cents on Smart Rent. 158,000 shares traded, looking good. Um I don't have any announcements uh, of, of any kind at this point that I can point to you for as to why it's happening, but uh, Smart Rent 1333 um, looking fine. The high, uh, all time high for Smart Rent 1514, so $1.80 away from its all time high trade, which was a SPAC as a SPAC. Uh, this stock has been a real winner uh, from the day they created this SPAC at 10 bucks a share. It's generally always been above 10. The, uh, the uh, delays with the SEC didn't bother them. Uh, the, uh, the estimations of the company's potential have not been not backed off at all. There's actually uh, uh, experts in the real estate field are saying this company is a winner and it's going to do really, really well as a corporation. Shares are doing fine. Those who hold the stock, I think um, the insiders of the company are, um, are not eager to sell this stock at all. I think these folks are long, long-term holders and are going to be with this company for quite some time. And this is why the volume is so light. There's just so little uh, being offered by insiders of this company. There's just nothing coming up. Even at uh, 13, uh, 33, 1328, nothing coming up. Interesting. Let's see how it works out. Uh, we'll keep following these, obviously. Um, these are the former SPACs that I recommended and are now eight individual publicly traded companies doing their thing. All right, uh, there it is, kids. Uh, thank you, everybody, uh, for being here. Um, can you talk about Galileo owned by SoFi? I, I really can't. Uh, I'm not, like, deeply into the real deep minutiae of the company. Um, everything I hear, though, about Galileo is positive, 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 positive. It's, it's a fintech entity inside SoFi, and SoFi is... Um, it's just expected. Uh, the The expectations from the street have been very positive for SoFi with Galileo in there, and I guess it was a very smart acquisition. And um, 
I'm just waiting for the bank charter to come through for SoFi to really take it to the next level, along with these continued um, buy recommendations that I think we're going to keep seeing. I think we're going to keep getting these again and again and again. Um, and the shares of SoFi will eventually reach levels that they've had before, which is the $24 neighborhood and beyond, well beyond. But um, today, fifteen thirty-eight. It's a bargoon here. That's my my thinking on it. All right. Um, let's see. Um, mm, mm, what's going on here? Um, let's see here. Uh, check more messages here. Here we go. John Biscuit is saying that uh, I just sold my Matterport shares <coughs> for a $52,000 profit. I was going to keep them, but I'm wary of investing long-term in a company that seems to rely on little more than a 3D app. Well, uh, John, uh, you know, that's what they said about Apple when they uh, talked about, uh, you know, company, people investing in a little company making computers out of a garage a couple of years ago and now trying to make it in the big world. Uh, it's early days and uh, you made money. How can you complain about that? Uh, making money, you cashed in, way to go. Take the dough, run, move on. Way to go, nicely done. Um, the stock, 1918, up 73 cents. And um, I just have a feeling that uh, that uh, they're going to exploit this little 3D app to the max. <laughs> they're going to take it a lot further. But, you know, to each his own. It's all good. Um, what do I do with my uh, SoFi October 15 call? What am I going to do with this thing? Uh, I got it for 350 uh, should I roll over or just wait? I'm currently at a buck twenty on the contract. Well, the the call is now in the money. That is the good news. Uh, you battled uh, back to here, although it was higher. It's still in the money. The shares are improving. They were out of the money yesterday. Now we're in the money today. Um, and uh, you have to October fifteen, of course, which gives you a month. You've got four weeks to go. Um, I would look at uh, the possibility of a rollover uh, might be an idea. Uh, if the shares have another day like this tomorrow and run up another 80 odd cents into the 1610 neighborhood, you're going to have a 110 book value contract with probably uh, about a two dollar 180 190 price. You'll be you know well well closer to where you got in at. Obviously, you do need. Um, I would say you're going to need the stock to reach about 17.75 maybe 18, but 17.75 for sure, you're gonna need before you're back to 350. Uh, so you're gonna need $2.40 more of movement to break even on this investment. Is the stock capable of doing that? Yes, it is. How fast uh, can do it in a day? Um, the shares will get to the point, sooner or later, there will come a point in time where um, enough interest comes into the stock from enough players where the offers just aren't going to satisfy the, the demand. Now, it doesn't need to be a 10 to 1 imbalance. We don't need to have, you know, a million shares wanted and only 100,000 available to make it go up crazily. Um, you get a, just a 10, 20% imbalance between buy and sell hour after hour after hour after hour, and this stock will begin a run um, because the folks on the street smell it. They'll begin to notice, look at all the bids behind the bids. Like, they'll see a... You'll see the 1535 trade level. You'll see a 13, 1330, 1325, 1320, 1350. You see millions of shares wanted here and only thousands, hundreds of thousands available over here. You're going to begin to notice, yeah, this is definitely trending in the right direction and there's a bit of a wave coming in here, people jumping over each other to get in. Here at 1537, um, you know, we're still dealing in pennies with movement. Um, once we start dealing in dimes of movement, you know, start jumping 10 cents at a shot, things start to change. And uh, your contracts will also begin to spread out in uh, premium value. You'll, you'll get much higher, even only with a month to go, you'll start getting higher premium counts coming into your contracts. So, um, David, I can't tell you it's going to happen today. That That's a thing I can't tell you. I can only tell you you're up 86 cents on the stock today. That's all I can tell you. But uh, this company's shares are getting the right kind of press from numerous sources. They're getting the right kind of analyst coverage from numerous sources. No analyst is calling the stock overpriced or overvalued or, or worth eight bucks a share. Nobody's doing that. They're all talking 
20, 25, 30 a share. The average is over 25 a share. Um, so the shares are discounted against expectations. Still doesn't make any money, does it? Uh, just am I making it feel better? Don't know. Might not. Uh, but you have the option at any time to roll into a further contract, further out contract. Yeah, it might cost you. Yep, I think it's worth the money though. On on the one hand, if you can pick up a December contract, even if you're buying 16s or 17s or 1750s, and I'm not sure if you can get 16s or 17s, you might have to go right to 1750s. It might be worth your while um, giving yourself that extra 60 more days. On the other hand, if you look at next year, January's, February's, or March's, the further out you can go, the better off I think you'll be. The question is, uh, you know, what what are you going to end up with? How many you have now versus how many you're going to have, and at what exercise price? This is the call you're going to have to make. But at the moment, if the shares were to give you a two dollar pop here in the next day or two or three. You would be back to 350 a contract pretty quickly, um, and then you know you're you're square one on your money, which will be a comfort. Um, now the question is just how fast can the shares, and will they make a move, and where to? 1538 on SoFi. We're approaching the high of the day now. We're four cents below the high of the day. If the shares right now in the next 40 minutes, they can pop through the high of the day with a bit of a pop. They might pop 20, 30 cents more this evening. Just just now which could set up a good aftermarket and a good pre-market tomorrow and a nice opening tomorrow as well through the perhaps the 16 level first thing in the morning. But on the other hand, if the shares slump badly in the last 40 minutes, then all bets are off. I don't see a slump coming because of 28.9 or 23.9 or 22.9 million volume, very good volume uh, today and a pretty steady chart. I mean, it's been solid up here all day long with a little glitch, but nothing much. It's looking good. So, uh, but you know, you're you're the boss. It's your dough. You decide how to how to run this. There you go. All righty. Uh, thank you everybody for popping in here, seeing us, uh, spending some time with us. We love it. Uh, we're hopefully uh, going to get a good run uh, on some of our stocks <clears throat> and see what they want to give us. Uh, um, I Uncle Bruce, uh, uh, what do you think of so far trading between fourteen to sixteen for a while now? I think our days are numbered. Um, I just don't think uh, this is going to last much longer. I really don't. I, I think that we've had enough stock turnover where uh, we're going to run out of cheap paper. Um, it's it's just becoming obvious as, as each week goes by, there are more and more positive articles coming out about SoFi. And, and there are very there are really no skeptics, really, none, none really. Um, and I just have a feeling that these shares are going to dry out. Um, and we might get a $3, $4 gap might be from 15 to 18 uh, and then trade 18 to 20 for a while that could happen um but on the other hand we may get one of these explosion scenarios where we get a blowout and this thing goes up six seven bucks a share it goes into the 2023 20, range and hangs out there for a while before going higher yet again it could happen um but i i can't uh, i can't put my finger on it but i i like i like the vibe i like the upside potential here i'm not really worried about downside downside uh, trading trends Will it ever reach it? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to go beyond this. It's going to go beyond 28. Way beyond. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. I, I, Adela Hold buying at 1449 yesterday was probably a really good move. Nicely done. Um, let's see. Uh, here's why. That's why I scooped up some more this morning. Going to get more tomorrow. There you go. Um, what are your predictions, ATIP? Same as always. Uh, I've been the same now for weeks. Um, they're going to get a new CEO. They're on the search for one. They probably got a short list going right now. Maybe they're making offers to uh, to an to a CEO at this minute, waiting for you know the official done deal. Um, if they get the right CEO, and I suspect they will, um, they will have an opportunity to really promote the upside of this company and its plans. They can get a CEO in front of a microphone to tell us what the plan is. Um, and if we get the kind of plan I think we're going to get, if we're going to hear what I think we're going to hear, uh, we could be back into the 7 750 neighborhood in pretty short order. That would be only three quarters of where we should be, obviously, because we came up with a $10 merger here. But a 750 price right now would look awful darn good for a bunch of you folks who average down on this thing. 
And those of you who are sitting on these 250 contracts and $5 call contracts, you will all be in the chips, even at 750 a share. So I like it, uh, but I'm frustrated by how difficult it is to just wait this thing out minute by minute, hour by hour, day after day, week after week. While the shares are down here in this 360, 70 range, it's so frustrating knowing that there's so much upside potential, but it's not reflected in the stock right now, which makes makes it difficult to get people all riled up and excited. The shares have got to be given a reason to go. And the reason will be the hiring of a new CEO, which they are on. They're on it. And there are billions of reasons why the CEO is going to be, uh, I hope, the right one. Uh, there are billions of reasons on the table. They're not my billions, uh, but there are entities out there with a lot of money at stake here that are going to do this right. Kids, you got to have faith and you got to take a leap of faith on that stock. I would not be a seller of this paper whatsoever. Uh, the downside on this is, lim is, is virtually limitless, uh, uh, limited. There's really no downside here. The upside is far better than the downside. You have a 99 to 1 shot to go higher versus lower. But between now and the minute we find out the CEO scenario, the shares will fluctuate. And so you have to take, you have to tolerate this water torture, this Chinese water torture. You have to take it. And if you can handle this, you can handle anything in the markets. So hang in there, kids. Um, let's go. Let's go. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's I think it's Bargoon here. Uh, thanks, Uncle B. You got it. Um, I've been scooping it up. I, I think it's a good move. I, I really do. Uh, this company is cash rich. Uh, they're hiring people left, right, and center. Uh, they will grow, and they will be t they will be a buyer of other companies. They will acquire, in my opinion, they will acquire all kinds of physiotherapy centers across the U.S. and will be will become a much larger operator of physiotherapy centers overall. And uh, stock will will reflect a much higher price than this uh, this is there's no way it's going to sit here all right 100 shy of 1000 on atip right on uh dave uh, uncle b i have to ask the most important question of the day did you make it to costco and restock the bagels no no but we will tonight yeah yeah there will be a restock of bagels today i can assure you of that uh that will happen and i will be gleefully showing them off do not worry. Uh, good afternoon, Uncle B. Good afternoon. Uh, Lord Byron, Matterport will explode. I like the sound of that. After the wild ride, uh, GameStop has been. ATIP swings are laughable. Well, that's true. Um, a lot of inexperienced market people really let it get to them. They really let it grind them. And and I get it. I've been dealing with this since 1978 with, uh, with clients. It is what it is. Um, with ATIP, you have to look past all the crap that happened up to this moment in time. You have to look past all the disappointment, all the the hardship, all the whatever. Just flush it away and look at the price of the stock. Three sixty-five a share. A company that went public at ten with about a half a billion bucks in cash in its pocket. I'm. I'm a bull on this one. I, 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 I like ground floor opportunities. This is a ground floor opportunity. It, it is it is on sale. Um, there you go. Uncle Bruce, would you recommend um, the $5 covered call uh, or the call or the 250s? Buy the 250 calls if you can afford them. Uh, scoop up the 250s. Uh, they're in the money. You buy a buck, buck 10. Premium is a light. Scoop them up. Just go far out as you can, though. Um, Chinese water torture, Bruce. That's nothing compared to your uh, brand of Chinese Yoko torture, man. <laughs> All right, um, Uncle B. Should I wait for a SoFi drop or should I buy it? Um, this is a SoFi drop. Uh, we came from the twenty-four neighborhood to the fourteen fifteen neighborhood. We are still in the cheap, cheap buy zone. When this thing pops three, four dollars, you are going to be crying in your soup that you didn't buy it here when you had the chance, um, because you might never get it again. I don't know if this stock, 
uh, I, I don't know when this stock will go, but when it starts its run, it's not coming back anymore. Now it's in a different area and it's a different awareness area. This company is now known by millions more investors. And as it starts its move to the 17 20 $22 level, it's not coming back to 14 Unless they completely screw up how to run their fintech company, which I don't think they will. They've been around 11 years. Uh, I think the days are numbered that this stock will stay here. But that's just me. you got to decide for yourself. Sitting on 20,000 shares of ATIP and waiting for a right to write contracts right on. Uh, hello, Uncle Bruce, would you recommend the fives or the 250s? 250s if you can get them. Uh, Cheryl, I'm pretty much all in on ATIP and ME. Go figure. John, uh, Matterport will explode until Apple decides to make a 3D app. Then it's, uh, you know what? And John, uh, think what you want. Uh, more power to you. You made money. God bless you with it. Uh, knock yourself out. Um, I beg to differ. I think that Matterport, uh, I think Matterport's got it going on. And I think, uh, if anything, Matterport is a takeover target eventually by a major. But that's just me. It's your call. Derek, how about the premium on those Rocket Lab Jan 2120 puts? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Drew just scooped up some more ATIP 365 upside feels real, real good. Uh, take advantage of the low days and months. Remember, the stock market is also a psychological game, and this is the thing about ATIP 364, 365. Psychologically, it is hard to buy it here for a lot of people. It's very difficult. It's the hardest move to make to buy it when it's uh, super low, and the second hardest trade to make is selling at a profit. That is the second hardest trade to make. People ask themselves, is this the high? Should I sell now? What if it keeps going higher? What do I do? Those are the tough calls. Uh, Rob, Bruce, when you talk up ATP, I get motivated again to buy it almost. AB, so what are you saying? Is ATP is like the Ghostbusters firehouse when they bought it? <laughs> well, you know, what can I say? Um, here's I look at it this way. If I'm wrong and it only goes to six fifty, you're up three bucks a share. Sorry, you only made three dollars on a three sixty investment. Uh, your call contracts, your 250s, will only be $4 in the money. Sorry, you're only four in the money. Uh, if I'm right, and this can go to 750 and eventually back to 10, you're going to be thanking me a lot that uh, that I convinced you in there. But it's a tough call to make. It, it is a tough thing to do, to buy when the chips are down like that. Down dip panic is real. Uncle Bruce talked me off a few ledges. Buy GameStop. When will you be in the U.S.? Uh, or in October. We're coming up. We'll keep you posted. As soon as we know, well, you'll know most definitely, says Ori. Uh, Mohammed, uh, SNDL never ever moves, or am I the only one who's holding heavy bags here? SNDL, I, I don't even know what that is. Uh, Cheryl, how about members only? Uh, how about that? Should we should we change the chat to members only? Well, SoFi hit its 52-week high this year. Will it hit its 52-week high? I don't know if SoFi can do that. Uh, so far, 1538 right now. It's only about what 28, 26 away. So it's only got eight dollars to go uh, this week. Hmm, that'd be kind of nice if it did, wouldn't it, Adam? That'd be all right. Uh, Dave or Apple buys Matterport. Yeah. Um, hmm. Hi. Uh, um, is the float on Rocket Lab really 3.84 million? I I don't honestly know what it is. Uh, anybody know? They can tell me. Let me know. Uh, BBIG, going to the moon end of the week and early next week. Way to go, BBIG, whatever you are. Um, Zach, Uncle Bruce, snagged 8, January uh, uh, 24th, 250 ATIP calls for 206. I'm already up to 338. There you go, man. Way to go. Uh, Lord Apple, uh -huh. and uh, Auntie, don't do it, Rob. Uh, Fenville, uh, site, all this hype was so fine. As the original follower six months ago, the truth is I would love to get my cost back. For my 25 contracts of SoFi, December 21 and Jan 22, hope it's uh, hope is free. Well, Finville, um, you know, we got a good day here. 1540 on the stock now. We're up 90 cents here. Uh, we're two cents away from the high of the day. Uh, now with only 26 minutes to go, we're climbing stronger as the afternoon is wearing on. This is a good sign. This is a very good sign. 23.58 million. Let's see if it wants to give us some more. Uh, you know, go through 1540. If it can hit 1550 and break it, it might have a 40 cent gap right after, right after that to 1590. Uh, we're beginning to begin. That'd be cool. Look at this. Rocket Lab is up, up 14 cents on the day now. It has come all the way back. Rocket Lab was as low as 1462. 
this morning in the first half an hour of trading. 1462. We're now 1588. Thank you very much. Uh, keep it coming. Making my viewers less poor. I like it. Uh, that is good stuff. 1542 on SoFi. The high of the day has been reached again. We have now touched a new high. 1544 breaking through up a 92 cent range right now on SoFi. I would love to see a final 25 minutes. Like, let's rock this thing. That'd be beautiful. GameStop up 493. That's improving. Uh, Matterport up 93 cents to 1938. Now 1939. Uh, high of the day, 1944. Coming on, 3.4 million likes. Nice to see these stocks picking up some uh, power here at the end of the day. This is great. 23 and Me not giving it to us uh, down at 805. That is frustrating. Smart Rent up 36 cents. Spire up 45 to 963. ATIP down six cents. Sixtera up twenty cents to nine fourteen. Remember, I love it when you buy stocks at the low and sell at the high, and that's why ATIP is at the low. There it is. IBM up a dollar seventeen. The Dow up two hundred seventy eight points. Thank you very much. Nice recovery day on the Dow. That means two of the last three trading days have been up days for the Dow. But only two of the last eight have been up days because we've had six down days. Remember that. Uh, we're up 276 on the Dow. We're up 41 on S&P. That's really good. And we're up 126 on NASDAQ. That is even better than the Dow. So S&P is up 0.93 of a percentage point. The NASDAQ is up 0.84. And the Dow is up 0 0.80. All three solid days. Nice moves here. Up 228 on oil. 72.74. Giddy up, baby. Make it happen and take these stocks to the moon, please. Uh, you know what? I twisted my pinky and I bought ATIP. Uh, hey, Uncle B, just sell. ATIP is a penny stock. Laugh out loud. Hi, Uncle B. Yahoo Finance shows Rocket Labs float at 3.8 million. This seems really low. Zach is saying uh, snag eight of those uh, Jan 2024 ATIP 250 calls. Nice job, man. Scoring those. Um, good going. I'm so relieved. Apple is going north again, says uh, Wavioli. Matthew started selling poor man calls on AMC. Thanks for the information, Bruce. Right on, buddy. Way to go and doing that. Like it. AB, a Fidelity app is too confusing for buying options. I'm dumb ape, so I just bought lots of ATIP shares. Brian Ham, we are behaving so far. Don't boot us yet. You are being so uh, classist. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Byron, check out Cannabis uh, MSOS on Reddit and you'll find the better weed stocks than SMDL. I don't follow any of them. Uh, NTPC, um, by the way, uh, Rob, I don't remember if I told you that BS, uh, BKSY is a long-term hold, not a pump and dump. In fact, I started the wheel on it this week. John Van, well, convince some of us knuckleheads to sell our AMC at uh, 13. Michael, a more like $448 million on Rocket Lab floor float or is it 4.8 4.4 i don't know what that means robert uh mttr heading towards 20 right now 1938 at the minute uh we're are we on the way to realm of selling calls we could be 1544 on sofi that is pushing higher 1590 rocket lab up 12 cents on the day sofi's high trade 1544 right is where we're at that's right where we're at right now on 23.9 million shares of volume on sofi good volume good move on the day Upgrade and uh, $20 price target. Everything is going the right direction on SoFi today. And the street is buying into this deal. So this is good to see. Uh, Joe says Rocket Lab float is $187 million. Mohammed, Lord Byron will do. Thank you. Um, uh, Miss uh, Jubas says uh, sold some calls on Matterport for this Friday. Uh, either way, I'm getting more Matterport with the money. Interesting. Benville. AB, use the Active Trader Pro, use Option uh, option Trade Builder, very easy. I just like the stock, says Rocket Lab in the positive now, up 7, holding again. 15.44 on SoFi, up 94. 204.50 on GameStop, up 5.26. We're up 98 cents on Matterport at 19.43. We got the first four stocks on my screen, all in the green now. Only ME is negative, negative 24. We got Smart Rent up 28, Spire up 40, uh, Sextera up 21, and, and ATIP is down 5 cents. So that's it. So uh, we got a lot of green going here. I like the sound and the look of that. We have 
20 minutes to go in the day with the Dow holding a 285 gain. That is very solid coming into the close here. It's gaining strength. We got 43-point gain on S&P, 135 on NASDAQ. I like the look of this market. Uh, before you go, members only, I wanted to thank, uh, what, you, what, whatever. Um, thank you for being here. Um, uh, let's see here. Here we go. Um, there we go. There we go. Thank you for your work. Oh, thank you for uh, for uh, for those kind of words, Michael. A short interest on Rocket Lab is three point four million. That's all it is. A diluted Dante. I've heard a few mentions of these poor man calls, but have missed what they actually are. Is there a video I can go back to which explains it? I did a lesson on it. I did a lesson on it, and it's on my website, uh, stockmarketswithbruce.ca. It's almost two hours long. You may want to take the time, make the investment. And figure out how it works. Uh, it's uh, it's a definite uh, strategy to uh, make money. Um, Lord Brian, look into Cresco, Green Thumb Industries. Uh, I'm not into I'm not into dope stocks, so can't help you there. Happy Man says hi, Benway. Thank you, Lord Byron. These trades on over the counter. We don't do over the counter here. I don't follow over the counter stocks. Thanks, Benville says AB. Um, Happy Man, where can I find your videos on options? Uh, stockmarketswithbruce.ca. Go to my website, stockmarketswithbruce.ca. You'll find the classes available there, and you can watch them as many times as you want. Uh, Rocket Lab up at, up six. SoFi 1543 up 93. GameStop up 529. Matterport up a buck 1945. We're 55 cents away for Matterport to hit twenty dollars a share. Brad, Uncle Bruce, what are your thoughts on selling puts? On SoFi, I, I like it. I think writing a put on SoFi is an idea. If you can get a good premium on it, uh, you may want to look at October's or December's, uh, January's. Uh, check it out. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, ben, I can't stress enough how grateful I am for your work, and thank you for that. Uh, Uncle Bruce, any thoughts on ChargePoint? No ideas. Uh, Brian, I have ATIP 100 shares, average price 713. Should I average down? I have no cash in at the moment. Do you think I should sell my Rocket Lab? I am up 50% on it. Should have sold at 100%. Uh, Rocket Lab, you leave alone. Uh, you're going to be in a profit position, and you're going to be in a higher profit position. It's on its way. When more cash comes into your hands, you can always average down later on uh, ATIP. But right now, you sit on that winner and ride it. Uh, Fanville, AB, I find Fidelity ATP is much easier, better than Webull or uh, TD Trade. DQ, uh, diluted Dante. Yes, there's a video. The quick version is buy a deep in the money call, long way out. Never write near term out of the money calls against the in the money call. That's, that's the short form. Then there's how you do it. Finville, Brian, why would you sell uh, the money cow to buy a dying chicken? There, there you go. <laughs> Finville is is not as um, uh, Finville's a little more direct uh, with the uh, with the answer as opposed to my diplomatic answer. Uh, I say write the winner. Uh, there you go. Uh, okay. <laughs> 1544 on SoFi, 15, 1951 on Matterport, 49 cents away from $20 a share on your Matterport. I'm loving that. This is beautiful stuff. Thank you, everybody, for uh, popping through here, catching up with us, uh, hanging out with the crowd. Love it. Uh, uh, those of you who are uh, uh, members, uh, you know I love you. A big day tomorrow for you as members. It's rollover day. For a lot of you tomorrow, um, it'll be your six-month anniversary tomorrow of being members. And uh, I got to tell you, folks, uh, the members of this channel are the backbone of this channel. Without memberships, I wouldn't be here. Jen and I would not be on the road without memberships. I can tell you that right now. We'd be stuck in a doghouse somewhere. We are grateful, and we are uh, we are pumped up and uh, pumped up and excited both the big road trip coming up and thanks to the members of this channel it is happening we thank you very much for your continued support of this channel through thick and thin we love you we have 167 thumbs ups if any of you are able to uh, give us a thumbs ups today uh, for the shares going higher if you're happy about your stock going up hit the thumbs up button help us out uh, we appreciate it but another hundred ATI pieces pick going uh, Michael's uh, is a January 2023 SoFi 1250 call for six bucks worth it. SoFi 1250 that would be a a 290 in the money contract with a 310 premium for 2023. So that is a year and four months. It's expensive. Um, uh, you know you're going to lose three dollars in time value between now and then. On the other hand, 
if the shares in the meantime in the next six months just go to 25 <clears throat> you got a 1250 book value contract plus time so you're gonna make money um, your call um, AV uh, Fenville yeah I'll try it it's weird with all these pop-ups in the basic app AB Fenville also hard to navigate in general Brian uh, chicken is better for you ah uh, scooped up 80 ATIP 750 calls uh, uh, Jen, uh, 2023 for 55 cents. So oh, that's, there's a, there's a, there's a gamble, but Hey, I like your timing. Um, bought five grand worth of ATIP shares earlier. My average is now three, 378. Um, I like ATIP as, it, as it's company it can't really be replicated. Hopefully new CEO sorts it out. Definitely worth the punt. That's what I'm thinking. I think your downside is minimal if, if, if non-existent. 365 on the stock here. Uh, volume today, 635,000 shares. Uh, low was 361. And uh, like I say, we're waiting for management changes to be announced. And I think we're going to be on our way back higher. Uh, that's just me, though. Uh, Fenville, AB, agree on the Fidelity mobile app. I've never used it. Uh, Delahoe, to give Uncle Bruce some thumbs ups, folks. Please do, if you can. If you can help us with some thumbs ups, we'd appreciate it. That would get YouTube to promote us a bit more. To newer viewers we have 196 thumbs ups now we're approaching 200 very quickly and uh, we do appreciate it with 416 here please hit the thumbs up button for us give us a bit of a boost uh gamestop up to 204 it's now 204.48 up 524 matterport 19 dollars 69 cents 31 cents away from 20 let's scratch that 1974 26 cents away from 20 dollars a share on your Matterport stock. Very good. This is the best price since the merger was completed, and it's having a breakout at the moment. It is definitely breaking out. This is the last month for Matterport. That that looks good. But check this out. This is today. This is today's chart right here. Look at this chart right here. You know what we call that at the very end there? That's a zzz. We're going straight up there. That is beautiful. 1981, 19 cents away right here 1981 a share right now on matterport it is going to hit 20. might do it today i don't know 1982 we still got 13 minutes 1982 a share on matterport up a dollar 37. 1544 on sofi up 94 today we need a pop for that one too would love to see a shot at the end on this one high of the day 1548 on sofi thank you sofi Rocket Lab has slipped a little down 14 at the moment. GameStop up 495 to 20419. And Matterport 1988. Right now, 12 cents away from $20 a share. I like it. <clears throat> this is good stuff. Float on Matterport, 7.8 million. That's a real small, small float. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Uh, what else is going on here? Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, hey, Uncle B, I just sold four puts. Ten dollar strike on ME, two fifteen a contract. Uh, two fifteen a ten dollar. Uh, so you're committing to buy it at seven eighty five. Um, but I'm not sure when these die. Interesting. Um, and here we go. I took the class. I made more money than the class cost in that same week it is worth the investment thank you for those kind words halo um october 15 covered calls 20 bucks so when should i roll i don't want to get called away should i roll before it goes over 20 or before um are you talking about matterport i mean you, you help me out here um um you can roll them anytime you like but you got october so you got all the time in the world you're not gonna be exercised just because they hit 20 bucks Bruce, do you have a favorite ticker or one above the rest in your mind not really uncle uh, cover call matterport um it runs perfect okay uh let's see almost 57 percent green on rocket lap um bruce i've got matterport october 15 15 calls should i sell now or wait matterport you wait you let this stock go you're in the middle of a run here you're not doing anything you're going to let this thing make you rich uh let it go let her go uh sit tight enjoy the ride uh gonna give windows a try says dq miracle october 15 those me puts uh uh, let's see here. Um, it took me about three months to sign up. It's worth it. Uh, ain't going nowhere, Uncle B. Y'all the best. Thank you, Drops. Appreciate it. Um, big techs, uh, please sell for profit. Don't be greedy with options. I've learned the hard way. Uh, everyone has their opinion on it, uh, but I think Matterport at 1990 right now, we're a dime from 20. 
I don't think 20 is going to stop it. I think it's going to go well beyond 1991 now. Nine cents away from 20 bucks a share, folks. Your Matterport is going to make you some money. There is buying interest coming in, and it is picking up steam. The higher it goes, the higher it will go, because there really is no resistance on this stock that I can see. But you got to decide for yourself. 1546 on your SoFi, up 95 cents. We got a 142 gain on Matterport, a 95 cent gain on SoFi. 18 on Smart Rent, 45 on Spire, 24 on 6 Terra, IBM is a dollar higher, Microsoft up 5, Apple up a dollar 20. We got some moves here. Uh, it's looking good. Uh, Goldman Sachs still down, down a dollar 40, but it was down a lot more than that. So we got a better day coming around here. We have the uh, market closing in 10 minutes. The Dow is up 261, SP up 41, NASDAQ up 132. As we're coming into the last 10 now, here goes Matterport says anti-PC. Let's see if it can take a run. It might have a little re recalibration and take another run. It doesn't have to give me 20 today. I am not asking for it. It is not necessary. Uh, Matterport is just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And I think the following is picking up on the stock. We got the volume now of 4 million today on Matterport. That is another indication of strength. 4 million volume on Matterport. So far, 15.46, up 95 cents. Right at the high today, right now on 25.1 million volume. Very good. So far, that, that is great. A nice 97 cent move on 20 plus million. That's exactly what you want. That is exactly what you want to see happening. There is a wider group of investors coming into SoFi now, 15.48. There, the street is coming into this stock, and I like the fact that it's got a lot of liquidity. It's trading in penny increments. Easy in, easy out. I like this. 1548 on SoFi. Matterport, now 1965 to tease us. GameStop up 462. Emmy still at 806. Smart Rent at 1302, up 27. Spire, 1965, up 47 cents. And we've got a 20 cent gain on sex terra right now. All right, there it is, kids. Uh, lots of fun here. Uh, you know, if you if you're happy and you know it, hit the thumbs up. So Larry, thank you for those. Uh, Island Girl, how was your birthday last week? Hope you had a blast. Uh, let's see here. What else is going on here? Uh, we got the zit going on here. The markets are going higher. Uh, if it breaks 20, should we write the cover calls right now? No, no. Wait till tomorrow. Let's wait a couple of days and assess where Matterport is at. It could be that uh, in the next 24 hours, there's an announcement coming. There could be a development happening that's already creating excitement. There could be a breakout to the 2325 area. Let's let it happen. If it's going to happen, let it happen. We'll write calls there. Just wait. we got to see what's really going on here. We've got a good move going right now. The MTTR option chain doesn't move accordingly. Not yet. Can't wait until MTTR hits 100 a share. One of these days, 400 is feasible based on the shares available and the untapped markets MTTR wants to tap into according to the five-year plans. Uh, there you go. Carlos, not enough liquidity on MTTR options yet. Uh, it'll get there. It'll get there. Um, let's see. Matterport, public float, 181 million shares, nowhere near 7.5. Uh, can man, um, oh, oh, OG subscriber here. Uh, Uncle Bruce, loving this MTTR movement now. Let's go so far. So much love. Thanks, man. Uh, thank you, everybody. 15.47 now on uh, SoFi, uh, up 97 cents with seven minutes to go. Um, we got Matterport, 1976, moving up again. Uh, looking good, kids. Looking really good. They got rules against ticker names uh, like license plates, invest in butt and all that, whatever. Uh, SVT, I got one put contract in IRNT. Uh, wish me luck. Good luck. Carlos, stock uh, lives Matterport. Stock lives Matterport. Once I pass 100% green on my contracts, I prepare to watch them closely and sell them. SVT, Fenville, I'm selling calls. I'm getting great money in here. Uh, Anti, Michael, I have a couple of DDs to send you about the BKSY if you'll give me a place to send it to you, like Discord or Reddit. Mohammed is a new member of the channel. Uh, Kadi, Mohammed Kadi, thank you for joining the channel. I'm glad you're here. Everyone will welcome you for sure. There's good vibes here indeed. Uh, we're at 1546 on SoFi with five minutes to go in the market. We got GameStop at 203.96, now 204.10. Matterport, 1977. ME, 806, still down 20 cents. Smart Rent, 1304. That's where we're at right here, right now. Got a good looking close for a couple of our favorites. And uh, 
delighted at uh, how SoFi is performing today. And, of course, uh, Matterport at 1982, starting to take another shot at 20 again, just to tease us with now four minutes left in the day. We'll see how this market performs for us uh, this last few minutes. Fantastic. Uh, sub says five months, 30 days is tomorrow. Pink badges. Are we getting new badges? Are you guys going to have new badges? Some of you guys are getting brand new badges tomorrow beside your names. Uh, those stinking badges are going to change color. It's going to be exciting. Uh, the first uh, wave of um, sponsor members of this channel are going to get their six-month uh, logos beside their name. I, I'm stoked. I, I can't wait. All week long, you'll start noticing them pop around. So, yeah, a whole bunch of new logos coming out for you guys. The stinking badges. Uh, Carlos. Annie PC making uh, trying to make Bruce blush talking about her DDs. Uh, Mohammed, welcome. Uh, Fenville, please tell me about uh, put is not for Friday. If it is, it might not be so good. Uh, Island Fenville, I went to Vancouver with my family to see a Van Gogh exhibit, and my son broke his foot. Oh no! What do you think? I'll have to wait two days. Um, uh, I was waiting for this moment, says Mohammed. Uh, Deb, woohoo, new and improved. Uh, woo uh, what do we got now? Matterport, nineteen eighty five. SoFi 1544, GameStop 20405, up 481. You're getting richer everywhere. This is good stuff. We just need Rocket Lab to turn it around. We need ME to turn it around. Smart Lab, uh, Smart Rent is up 32. Spire is up 39 cents. Uh, ATIP is down six. We need to pop there. And Sextera up 21. So following these eight stocks, along with GameStop, we have got a lot of things going on here. Uh, Fenville. No, sir. Uh, thanks, but the put is for October 15th with the thinking of their thing goes up for no reason must go down. John, uh, I know one thing. I'll never go to Vancouver and check out that art exhibit. Uh, okay. Uh, Auntie uh, laughing out loud. Nephew, Uncle B, does it ever make sense to roll back a sold covered call? Yes, it does make sense to do it. Uh, there are times where you can really uh, score, where you buy back a covered call that you wrote further out uh, and then you roll and and write a newer closer in covered call closer to the money there are times that makes a lot of sense uh just bought more atip says drops right now that stock is um uh on sale at 364 a share at the moment um rocket lab down 22 so far 1549 up 99 cents two minutes to go in the day We've got the GameStop up 508. We're at 1986 on Matterport, up a dollar 41. Big day today on Matterport. SoFi got the write up from Mitsu Securities, $28 target price on SoFi, 1547 is the price. Rock and roll. Um, I about pulled a Red Fox Fred Sanford's when you actually said Spire was 1961 instead of 961. Oh, and what? Um, drops about a tip. Why not the whole thing? Fenville absolutely exit was great. Then dinner and drinks. Matterport go uh, bought it. Real spool, real spool fishing has become a member of this channel. I don't recall that name ever before. This has got to be a new member. Welcome new members to the uh, show, the channel. I'm really proud of you. I'm really grateful you're here. The uh, the backbone of this channel are the members. Absolutely, the members are the backbone of this channel. You guys are the best. Thank you. 1548 on SoFi, up 98. We got a minute and a bit to go here. A minute and a bit. 1983 on Matterport. Could be a fun opening tomorrow, don't you think? Uh, it's looking better. The SoFi, I'm hoping the momentum keeps building on SoFi over the after hours, the pre market tomorrow. More uh, articles come out on it. Uh, talk this thing up. 28, 30 bucks a share is the potential here immediate potential of course the bank charter would be the home run ball for all of us that would be just awesome let us let us know that drew says welcome real so says free thinker so says dq shaky fry what same thing drop saying hey wheel what's going on real real uh fs panel is here uh saying hi how are you welcome to the party pal you're here uh this is good stuff everybody uh, Fenville, I'm going to look into puts for our IRNT. I killed it with the call state, and I might want to ride this wave on the way down to Fenville. Welcome, Real and Mohammed. Welcome, new members. 1544 so far with a minute to go. Uh, one a 36 gain, dollar 36 gain to 1981 on Matterport. GameStop up 534 today. Thank you. Uh, back to 204.58. We'll take that. Uh, Smart rent up 27. 
Spire now up 55 to 973. It's taking a shot at the end of the day, too. Um, uh, we've got AMC down 50 cents, not getting a gain, but GameStop is getting a gain. Very interesting how one is not doing it, the other one is. Robinhood up a buck 85. Uh, Vanek up 93. Home Depot down a penny. IBM up a buck four. Dow up two. 36. We're getting ready for the bell. Larry says it's done. Uh, let's see. Uh, Michael, I work with police detectives who use Matterport technology. They love that stuff, and that's why I got in early. Larry is telling me the bells have rung in New York. We're done. Nice close on GameStop. Sweet close. 204.52. Uh, the bells are going. Yes, RCMP uses Matterport here in Canada. Thank you, uh, Larry. I can see where it would work. I can really see crime scenes uh, being, oh, man, I could be so powerful for crime scenes. Man, you betcha. Uh, we are shut down for the day now. Uh, Rocket Lab, in the last 15 minutes of the day, uh, looked to have a bit of a dip here. Um, it was sitting around the, oh, 1580 uh, level, uh, roughly, uh, 1582, and then dropped off to 1539. But in the aftermarket, it's a 1565. So go figure. There must have been a, a late sell-off or something crazy happened there. SoFi, 1545. It's the final trade up 95 cents on the day. And in the aftermarket, it's at 1544. GameStop, 204.52. 204.60 in the aftermarket, up 8 cents. Matterport, 1975 for the bell. 1985 in the aftermarket. Very good. Looking good on some of these guys. I like the look here. Uh, there it is. Uh, cowbell, cowbell, cowbell. I got a fever, and the only prescription is I need more cowbell. Uh, Clay, how did you find out about IRNT Reddit? What's up? Well, who, who, how, what, where? People are talking about the stock. Larry, uh, smiling and uh, grinning. Uh, Mr. T, Brucey, did you hear about Rocket Lab's plans to enter the healthcare industry and offer consumer bleaching products? I received a very personal ad on YouTube saying, Rocket Lab wants to explore Uranus. Hmm, that's interesting. I never heard of that before, Mr. T. Uh, where do you find this stuff? Uh, uh, deep crevices, I suppose. Uh, what can I say? I don't know. Don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm, I'm speechless. Uh, how about that? Final quotes. Uh, the Dow closed up at uh, with a gain of 236 points. We'll take that. Uh, S&P up 37. NASDAQ up 123. Uh, very good close after it was all said and done. SoFi trading in the aftermarket right now. 86,000 shares already traded. 1544 right now is where the stock is at. Uh, Matterport after hours. Uh, 1986 up 11 cents. 7,600 shares have gone through so far. 23andMe closed at 8.08 uh, today, and uh, they're just sitting there in the after hours. Unfortunately, GameStop closed at 204.81, now 204.20 in the aftermarket. We have Rocket Lab, 15.39 on the bell, 15.60 in the aftermarket. So a little pop there. See what happens with that. Um, and ATIP, 3.65 on the uh, closing market. Price 367 aftermarket on 172 shares. That's where we're at right now. SoFi is what we're watching closely, along with uh, along with Matterport. Uh, those were their winners today. And the uh, Matterport 1986. Uh, the high of the day was 1993 on a volume of 4.6 million shares for Matterport. Uh, SoFi's final share count today. 34.59 million. That was about a 10 million final hour on SoFi, I think. We were around, when I joined you uh, for the last hour of trading, uh, SoFi was around 22 to 24 million volume. We closed at 34.6 million. What does that tell you? And the stock went from this, uh, you know, 15, uh, what was it, 1520 around 2 in the afternoon, and it was 1528 around 3 in the afternoon, 1530, and uh, came up into the 1545 range here at the end with 10 plus million volume in the last hour. That is a really good sign, a very positive indicator. I, I gotta love it. You gotta love that. I'm I'm happy to see it. GameStop final volume 2.18 million. Not a lot to get excited about, but the stock was up 528 today. We'll take that action. Thank you very much. Good stuff, everybody. 
Very good stuff. There it is. There's the uh, there's your uh, final counts on the day here. Um, let's see what's going on. Um, interesting. Mm -mm. <laughs> I feel bad for the uh, astronomy teacher, Professor, having to hear that Uranus joke 500 times a day. Uh, evening all from Chris Condi. How you doing? MTTR20 tomorrow, maybe in the aftermarket today. Uh, if only Uranus had a huge red spot, might be nicer to look at. Uh, what are you going to do? Um, <laughs> 1975 was the final trade on Matterport today. Uh, aftermarket right now, 1983. Okay, thank you. Uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Nice Matterports is getting towards 20 bucks within three months. Um, not doing too bad, you know. Not doing too bad at all. Uh, Fenville, I could have joined the ride on that today, but I got scared. Red a butter on Reddit. There you go, Delaho. All right, folks, there's your day. Uh, thank you all of you for being here today. I appreciate the thumbs ups today. 261 have come in. I appreciate that. If you're able to throw us the thumbs ups uh, before you say goodnight, uh, that would be really nice. Uh, appreciate it. Helps the channel get promoted on YouTube uh, to other potential viewers. Um, we're looking forward to tomorrow. Another another interesting day coming up. I'm sure the stocks. I'm sure will do fine. Jen and I are getting ready to make a move. We are getting ready to change locations. We're going to go to a top secret location in Calgary. And uh, we will uh, fill you in all about it once we're all settled in. What that will happen in the next couple of days. Stand by for that. And uh, we're getting excited that October is coming awful fast. And we are headed south to the warm weather. And we are very much looking forward to it. Uh, look forward to having you join us on our travels to the U.S. of A. as we begin our journey south and uh, to other points uh, from there. So we're looking forward to that. 271 thumbs ups. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. It's awful kind of you to for doing that for us. Have yourselves a great evening, and let's see how uh, we're going to do here tomorrow, Friday. Uh, I know a bunch of you have options expiring this Friday. We'll be watching those closely with you. And see if how what kind of profits you can lock in on all of those trades, and uh, get ready for next week's options and the week after that. The week after that, uh, Matterport, take us to a twenty a share, please. Uh, anytime, uh, we're just about there. Gotta love the way this stock is behaving right now. And uh, so far, we're ready. We're ready to go back to twenty and go to twenty-five and go to thirty. We are ready. Anytime you are. We'll take the run. Let's see what happens. Thank you, guys. Uh, we're on the run again. Thank you, everybody. Have a great one tonight. Um, let's see. What <laughs> uh, Gregory, you, you, you said it all right there. I expect, excited for you and Jen, your travels. You make the Scotland. You can stay here. Thanks, you guys. Have a good evening, everybody. We'll keep you posted on uh, developments, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow morning at 830 Eastern time. Thanks for all your support. We'll see you later. Bye for now. Uh, hey, Mr. T, thank you. There it is. Thanks, Mr. T, for the donation right at the last minute. You're awesome, man. See you later. Bye for now.